apparently is one of the most beautiful metro stations in the world. It's not salty, but it's not sweet either. By the way, I am literally alone in this place. All right, I'm on the right way. I think I'm gonna make it. When people come to Taiwan, they normally spend their days in Taipei, where the main landmarks are, with the bustling night markets and with all the technology and stuff, which makes Taiwan famous. But how does the rural Taiwan look like? What is it to go to a typical Taiwanese village in the middle of the mountains, somewhere where people normally don't go? That's where we're going to go today. Join me in a trip across rural Taiwan. Let's go. For our first trip, we're going to a little town called Juli. It takes three hours through a railway which uh, extends across the eastern part of Taiwan. At Forum 4, there we I made it to Juli, but I don't have much time. I have about one hour and a few minutes to check out the city. This is very, very interesting. But first, let's get out of the station and try to go to the city center. Let's see what I find. Something tells me the city center is that way. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to cross the street. They got a flipping Pizza Hut, a 7-Eleven back there. It's not that small or you know, disconnected from the world as I thought. The weather from Taipei has changed drastically. Uh, in Taipei it was raining and it was very cold. And here, given the fact that uh, Juli is right below the, the tropic, it's quite warmer. And I'm honestly going to remove this in a few minutes because damn, it is nice. The weather here is very nice. This is the Yuli Circle, the very center of Yuli. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole village. Uh, it took me about four minutes to get here, <laughs> and I'm already at the center. Okay, now I want to go to the place I wanted to show you. Let's see if I have time. There's no sidewalks. You have to walk literally on the road. Oh my god, I want to make it. Someone was saying hello to me, randomly, like... <laughs> Juli is located in the middle of the Huadong uh, Valley, which is a very small valley between two ranges of mountains in eastern Taiwan. There's literally not much going on here, but the views, but the landscape, it's just another world. All right, I'm on the right way. I think I'm gonna make it. No, it's closed. 
I came all the way here to see one thing and it's closed. No fucking way. Attention, and then they proceed to put everything in Chinese. Nice guys, well done. So yeah, it's closed for some reason. I'm gonna try to translate this. Right, so apparently um, there's been some destruction here, I guess because of earthquakes or something. And here you have a small explanation of what this place is. The reason why I wanted to come here, it's because this place is very, very, very important geographically. Here's where two of the biggest tectonic plates collide, the Eurasian plate and the Philippine plate. Due to this clash between these two tectonic plates, you can see here a very high mountain range has been formed and behind me we also have another mountain range and in between we have a very very small valley uh, which has like many many small rocks and a uh, small river too this is because of this collision between these two tectonic plates the one from the philippines and the, and the one which goes from iceland all the way down to taiwan this is precisely the reason why there are so many earthquakes here just like japan Taiwan sits between these two plates and that's the reason why, especially here in this region of Taiwan, there are so many earthquakes that destroy infrastructure so many times. I am literally sitting in one of the most dangerous, tectonic-wise talking uh, places on earth. So yeah, here you have Yuli. This is the reason why I wanted to come here. Now let's head to the train station to see if we can catch our next train to our next destination. So far, this place is awesome. I made it, I made it to the station on time, I have 12 minutes still. People are giving me very weird looks. <laughs> That's probably because I'm the only foreigner in this town. So yeah, let's catch our next train. Let me explain the where I'm going. So my next stop is Hualien, which is a few kilometers north of Yuli. It's outside the Tropic of Cancer, so it should be cooler. So yeah. I don't know anything about this sound and we're about to check it out. Here's our train. Here we go. Apparently, um, the guy from the office where I bought the tickets, he uh, messed up and the tickets I have for today were for yesterday. He didn't understand I wanted them for tomorrow, for today. So the ticket revisor just came and she wrote something on my ticket like uh, to make sure I was, you know, was not breaking the law or something and it was my fault. However, she told me that I have to go to, um, to the train station in Hualien and try to explain to the person in charge of the ticket retailing that, um, that the guy who sold the tickets was wrong. So, uh, yeah, I don't know any Chinese. I don't know if or she may know uh, English, but we'll try. Ready to Hualien. Now it's time to fix my problem. Check this station out. Wow. It's big, modern. <laughs> I got the ticket, the guy was a little bit angry, <laughs> he was like, you must check, you must check the, the tickets, and I was like, yeah, I mean, sure, you normally check where you're going, like, the place of destination, not the, the date, because, I mean, it was weird, because the, the first ticket was for the right day, but then, in the last two destinations, the guy messed up, and he put, he put the wrong day, whatever. Hualien is a little bit bigger than Yuli, it's more of a town rather than a village and it is also located in the same valley as I told you it's called the Huadong Valley and it's one of the most remote parts of Taiwan or it is one of the most protected by the geography Hualien is specifically like the port part of the, of the whole valley and let's see what it's here Visitor Information Center, okay, let's see I came inside and I told the guy, okay 
Why, what can I do here in four hours? The guy told me there's two things you can do. One, go to the beach. Two, go to a place called the Pine Garden. I told him, okay, how can I get there? The guy told me, take a bus. But I was like, nah, man, I, I'd rather go walking. And he was very surprised that he was like, that's more than one hour. And I was like, eh. so yeah, I don't really know what to do. Um, I think I'm, I'm just gonna have lunch. And then I'll decide. I may walk anyways. I mean, if it's like one hour and a half, I think I can make it. This appears to be the Hualien Main Street with all the famous restaurants and stuff. And this is how Hualien looks like. Look. That's a very big mountain right there. Hello. If you've seen my two last videos, I've been to Taipei and I've also been to Kaohsiung in the south of the country. I must say this place looks like a mixture between both of them. I cannot tell why, but yeah. The Taiwanese love tea, like I swear, this is very funny. There's like literally a tea shop every five shops, every six. Let me show you. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, told you, told you, told you. I think this is an old industrial complex that they have turned into a museum. This all looks very Soviet to me, to be fair. I don't know if it's me, but I, I think I struggle to understand the meaning or the objective of some Taiwanese museums. It happened the same to me in Kaohsiung with the Pier 2 Art Gallery Center, whatever. This is the same. I mean, I don't know what's the point here. Like, what's this? What's the exhibition about? I can understand this is like an old factory or an old industrial complex, but that's that's about it. Like. Look at this bird. It's super big. Wow. Check out this temple. It's colorful, simple, but also very baroque. I like it. On my way to the beach, I am just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> because the city, although it is a coastal city. It is not that near to the beach as one would think. And I have to go through this road that traverses a small parts of vegetation, I guess. This is Nambin Park. It's meant to be one of the highlights of the city. However, it seems it's under construction or renovation. There's just walls all over, construction vehicles. I have no idea if I can enter, but I'm just going to do it anyways because YOLO and uh, you, you only come to Hualien once in your life, so... Yeah. I cannot go any farther, so... Yeah, this was the famous park. Nice! I was caught by one of the workers there and instead of kicking me out, he was like, Hello! He didn't say anything else. I left by my own. Apparently here's where they have the night market. You have to imagine this all full of shops and small food stands.
What the hell, man? This is too bizarre. Um, short. I am enjoying here the views before returning to Taipei. It has been a very interesting adventure, something that no one would do if they came to Taiwan. I haven't seen a single tourist in my entire day. So that's where I find, you know, the happiness, the motivation to, to travel, to see things that not many people see and to learn how people in different parts of the world live. Another reason why I came here is because it is a very strategic part of Taiwan. This valley I've been traveling through this day, the valley of Huadong, it's one of the safest places where people could take refuge in case of a Chinese invasion. It's very well protected by nature and by geography and in the event of a possible, you know, escalation, it could be a very interesting place to be if you were to be in Taiwan. So I wanted to see with my eyes how this place looked like. And I don't know, although it may seem a little bit boring at first, I've really enjoyed it. So let's get back to the station. This was it for Taiwan. I hope you really enjoyed the country. I did enjoy it a lot. It's amazing. I love the people. I love the culture. I love the food. Everything was perfect here. And now I am heading to a new country, a very, very interesting country and a very interesting region. So stay tuned next week. It's going to be quite big. See you soon. Take care.